Hi, Chris and Susan here. We are taking a break right now. We're on the beach. Um, we're just taking a bit of sunshine. Actually, it's so hot. We're sitting in the shade under a tree here. So sorry if we appear a bit dark, but we're going to get burnt if we don't do that. We wanted to share with you uh, the results of a conversation we were having yesterday. So we got a couple of hours off in the afternoon. We've done a lot of training in the morning. But we were sitting here beside the beach that you can see just behind us. And we were actually sitting in the water with a couple of beers each like this. And we were chatting with JT DeBolt. And uh, he's a, a very well-known, renowned speaker, motivational speaker, and a fantastic entrepreneur. And he actually champions entrepreneurs. That's what he does. And he's very, very good at it. And we got talking about luck and opportunity, funnily enough. And we were talking about how we'd actually got a, a message through the other day about oh you guys are so lucky to be in curacao and the thing is it's not actually about luck at all is it no it's not about luck at all it's about seeing opportunity and when you see it taking it because that's what entrepreneurism is all about and you know there was a program on the television not so long ago uh, Darren brown he created a scenario around a lucky dog and people who thought they were unlucky and it's a bit of a long story but there was one particular guy in there I think he was the local town butcher he thought he was the unluckiest man in the world and it wasn't really anything to do with luck it was just the fact he didn't look around um, and he didn't see what was around him I mean they even went to the extent of putting 50 pound note on the pavement in front of him and he still didn't <laughs> missed it didn't he entirely he didn't stop and pick it up and you think well you know people go around in their own little world I guess we all go around in our own little world but some of us see opportunity for what it is and some of us don't now is that because we're, we're blinkered it's maybe you get blinkered by your life, your, the people around you, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's, but everybody has the ability to expand their vision, if you like. Everybody has the ability to see what goes on around them, and you know we we see nothing any different or uh, from you. It's just that if an opportunity presents itself to us, like coming out to Curacao, we came out here to speak and we were invited out here to speak because we spoke on a stage in London I don't know, it was two weeks ago now I guess, nearly two weeks ago and somebody saw us and said would you like to come and speak in Curacao now, you know, the time difference between when we spoke on stage and getting on a plane was four days and so the question was we had to make a decision were we going to turn down the opportunity because it was only four days away and yeah we could have made all sorts of excuses and said oh yeah we've got to put the cats in the cattery or you know we've got arrangements to make of course we had arrangements to make but you know can you do them in four days well yes if you really you want to you can you can you know so we said okay we'll take that opportunity make a decision had a look for flights could we get flights yes we could um, in an ideal world, we wanted to come out on the Friday, but we couldn't get seats, so we came out on the Thursday. And here we are, and we've been here for well, we've been here for just over a week now because it's Friday. Isn't yeah, it? no, yeah, it's no, Thursday. No, Thursday. No, we yeah, we've yeah. been here a week. So you know, there was no luck involved. It was about us working for a number of years, you know, to get to a position where we spoke on a stage, somebody else saw us, and asked us to come speak out here. So there was no luck involved, but there was opportunity. And the opportunity was, here's the opportunity, do you take it or don't you? So I just want you to think about that, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're presented with, with the opportunity to do something that might be slightly different from the norm, slightly outside the norm, do you take it or not? or do you make a decision or not? I mean, because that's what it's all about. It's about making a decision and saying, well, here's the, here's, the, here's the details of the opportunity that I've got. I just make a decision whether I'm going to take them or whether, whether I'm going to take that decision and go with it, or I'm going to make a conscious decision not to go with it. 
because at the end of the day the last thing you want to do is keep spinning and spinning and spinning it round in your head not making a decision and then the opportunity goes by and the decision's made for you and you're you're forever going I wish I had <laughs> I really well, yeah. wish I had that's the point it's I wish I had and you know that's why I think a lot of people don't see the opportunity or don't take the opportunity because they don't make a decision and you know when we make a decision you always look at it and say well what's the worst that can happen you know am I going to die no you know what's the worst worst thing that can happen you know it might not work somebody might say to me oh we told you that didn't work you know realistically do we care no you have to build your own life you have to work you have to work for yourself, you have to decide what you want, maybe in association with your wife or your partner or family or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's your decision. So you have to make that decision when you see an opportunity. And, you know, they're all around you. They really are all around you. It's just up to you to decide whether you take it. Yep, absolutely. I mean, we've had a fantastic time here. We've met sort of, I don't know how many people have been here, well over... Well, over 100, 100, 100, 150. Yeah, 150. Like. It's a private mastermind, as Chris said. We were speaking here, speaking and training here. But, you know, we've been mingling with other entrepreneurs who... Multi, you know, multi, multi-millionaires. Multi, multi-millionaires and millionaires. But for the most part, entrepreneurs just like you, um, guys who've made a decision, um, had an opportunity put in front of them and said yes that's for me and some of them are absolutely brand new some of them are a little more experienced but the thing is just being around people who are like you will take you in your mindset and in your business in your entrepreneurial life to a whole new level trust us and we didn't actually believe that to begin with many years ago but having been on that journey we just want you to take our word for it and know that it's the truth so we really hope you enjoyed this video, that you find it useful in coming to that decision, that knowing there's no luck involved, there's no magic dog, um, but there is an opportunity and you need to grab it with both hands. So whatever it is when it comes your way, weigh it up, make a decision and just do it. So we're going to go and jump in the sea now and we'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Cheers.